Hi, this is Imelda Bell. I'm going to show you a very quick way of creating a mask to use in Photoshop. If you go to your channels and then choose a colour that best shows off your image, mostly I find it's the blue, I'll make a copy of it and then I'm going to go to Edit, Adjustments and Threshold. Now if I play with the slider on the threshold, I want to get a clear distinction between the black areas and the white areas so that at the moment the black areas are what I want to keep the white areas are the bits that I don't want to keep. So I'll adjust the threshold till I'm happy with it. A little bit too much. And I'll probably go about there. And then click OK when I'm done. Then if I turn back on my RGB layer, I'll see that the bit that I've just masked comes up in red. So I can now make any fine adjustments. So if I zoom in, I can use the white brush to paint out anything and the black brush, which will essentially be my red. Now I'm aware at the moment that I'm doing my mask the wrong way around but I just find it easier to do it this way um, when I'm using thresholds. So I select a good size brush, make sure I'm on my blue copy layer and then I can just go around the outside and neaten up the edges. And normally I would do it more than this but I just want to give you an idea of how to do it and then obviously you can practice the technique yourself. I've got a little bit of a lump there I just want to take out. Maybe just a bit round the propeller. Although that, that bit actually is part of the prop. I think it's where the prop was blurred actually, where the prop was moving. Um, so I'm, I'll, I will take some of that out. <coughs> Excuse me. So just need to have a bit. What I would normally do is go in this detail round the whole plane just to make sure I'm happy. But, like I say, I can have a little bit of room for error. So just continuing round, taking a bit more out round the prop. Oh, sorry, excuse the twitching notification. Right, now that bit I didn't want to go over. I do still want that. So if I switch my brush black to, back to black and paint back over it and go back over any other bits that I still want. And I keep going till I'm happy with my image the way it is. Just check there's a little bit of the canopy I want it in. <clears throat> you can see the mask does extend past where I want it to round the canopy, but I'm going to adjust that later, so I'm not overly worried. I just want to make sure I've got no big areas that I don't want. And that doesn't look too bad. So if I stay on that, if I hold down Command and click on it, it will then select that area as my mask. If I then deselect my ray, my um, copy layer, go back onto my channel, I'm oh, sorry, onto my layers, and click on the layer mask, and then you'll it creates a layer mask which is inverted. So if I hope you hold Control I, it'll then put it the right way around. Then I can go to selection and refine edge with making sure you put on your mask, fiddle with your mask so that you can adjust the edge of your um, selection by a few pixels and click OK. I always do this to save it to another layer, so it saves it to a new layer, so I still have my original if I want it. And then all I need to do is, if I float that in Windows, and I've got my other image open behind it, if I then drag and drop, and I can move that in, and I've got a fairly decent cutout all, all done. But because it's still a mark, I can, because it's a layer, I can still mask it further if I want to.